yesterday, I'm actually currently in the job market. I'm looking for work and I found a, um, a place that hires for like restaurants and stuff like that. Um, it basically lists all the, the fast food places, the, the restaurants, it rests, um, like bars It like lists all of them that are looking for work. Right. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, that's easy. Cause, um, I'm trying to find like ways to apply to other jobs that don't have listings on like Google and like, um, on, uh, indeed and stuff. So I found this site and there was a place in town that we pass by all the time. Uh, I don't want to disclose the name cause I also don't want to dox myself. So I won't be doing that. I uh, don't want any of you um, insane individuals um, going on Google and finding out where I live. So I'm not going to tell you that. But uh, they had an opening for, and, it, and, I, and I remember this, it had a uh, opening for every position, basically. It said urgently hiring hosts, um, bartenders, line cooks, dishwasher, um, there was one more, a bus boy, basically. It had all hiring urgently on the site. And I was like, oh, ooh, damn, I just bought the shit out of my microphone. That's why I, so I applied for, I applied for bartender. I applied for, um, a bus boy. I applied for dishwasher. I applied, I basically applied for everything, right? Cause I was like, well, I kind of want to work there just because like we pass by it all the time. I heard it's a good place to eat and I'm like, well, and it, they offered a 25% discount if you do work there. So I was like, oh, that's, that's awesome. Like I would like to try to eat there. Um, so I apply for all the positions and, um, I don't know, it must be on like an automatic response thing. Cause it was like, thank you for your interest in this place. Um, and that's what I was saying is like, why do they need so many people? And the only thing I can think of is like maybe college kids, maybe like college kids are like their main workforce and they're back at school now. So they're like um, hiring out the ass. That's what I was thinking. So I get a response. It's actually like, hey, we're interested in um, in interviewing you. Um, what time are you available? And this was more of like an automated thing. And I wasn't talking to a person. It was like a response through my like, email. And so I made the schedule for yesterday, um, the appointment yesterday at uh, 11 11 in the morning and so i get there and i'm like this is an amazing start to the day i had a i woke up perfectly rested i wasn't nervous about the interview um and the road um the downtown part of where i live it's a one way and there's parking on each side of uh or sorry there's park yeah there's parking on each side of the road and I happened to get the best parking spot right next to the business on the road. Here's the business and like here was the one way. It was awesome. It is like best parking spot. So I go inside, I talk to somebody and the first thing they tell me is we need you to fill out the paper application even though you already applied or you already applied online. I was like, that sucks because I had to account for like my past five addresses where I lived. I had to account for my past 10 years of work experience that I had already done online, but they wanted it again, this time in paper. I don't know to determine whether or not I can read and write and I'm not a fucking Neanderthal. I don't know if that's why they wanted me to do it. So I spent like 20 minutes uh, sitting in the booth because apparently they open right at 11 and this place when I'll, I'll explain it to you before I go farther is basically like a bar slash um, um, What's it not bar slash? Um, relax kind of place like you go in you can go to the bar you can get food they got booths so you can have food there they have an upstairs that's like couches and stuff like that you can take your drink up there they have like a little end tables you can sit down on the couch with your fancy drink and um uh your fancy drink by the way the costs of the food and the drinks there because i had just asked to see if i could see a menu because i wanted to see what they like offered a steak and cheese panini i want 
everybody in the chat right now to guess how much that steak and cheese panini was. Go ahead. And on top of that, I'm going to ask you, I love rum and coke. I love rum and coke. I want you to also list what you think the cost of a rum and coke is at this place. I see $16. $16 for the steak or $16 for the drink? Eight for the the Coke? Okay, so $16 for the, the steak patini and then eight for Coke. Okay, so the steak and cheese panini was $22. And the rum and Coke was $14. Fourteen fucking dollars for a rum and coke? Are you kidding me? One glass of rum and coke? Fourteen dollars? Twenty-two dollars for a steak and cheese panini? Are you kidding me? That's what I saw and I was like, dude, my heart stopped. It's not only the rum and coke. Almost all their mixed drinks start at twelve dollars and move up from there depending on what you get that's it's where it starts even their beer their tap beer is eight dollars a glass their tap beer the beer they have on tap is eight dollars a glass what the fuck yeah you don't get hardly any drink you maybe get like a shot or a little less than a shot of rum in your rum and coke. And it doesn't even come with lime. I love lime in my rum and coke. A little, a little wedge right on the glass. Doesn't even come with one. I had asked. I had asked. So this place has those prices. Has an upstairs where you can drink and relax on the couches. It also has a conference room that can fit up to a hundred people if you like want to plan for a conference to be there a hundred people I'm like you know that maybe this place really pays well because of how much the food is right so not only do I have the online application filled out I had to fill out another paper application I got heard from or they had responded to me Next day, with like trying to schedule the interview, I finally sit down with the manager, really nice lady, by the way, really nice lady. Um, she was real kind, courteous. Um, I felt bad. I kind of felt bad for what happened next was she had sat me down. She said, so I see that you're interested in all these positions. Uh, and I said, yes, I just, I didn't know. I just want to like work here i, I kind of thought it'd be a cool place to work um like i saw it from the outside i thought i wanted i want to work inside and she said well unfortunately we only have an opening as a line chef when i applied online on that website let me remind you they said that every position was urgently hiring every position was urgently hiring and she tells me that the only position that they have available is line chef i'm not gonna get my gun because i don't want to go to jail or well, worse i don't want to go to prison so i'm saying well that fucking sucks how much does a line chef get paid? Because I was like, well, maybe that'd be cool. I've never been a line chef. Like, I think that would be a, a, a cool thing to learn. It might even help me like cooking at home, even though I, I, I already think I'm a good cook. But like a line chef would be really cool too. But they said, oh, well, they get paid 17 an hour. And I said, I mean, it doesn't sound terrible. But like, it also doesn't sound bad. Like it's right in the middle. And then she had told me the only hours that we have available. So on top of the fact that they're urgently hiring online, but they're not. And the only positions they have on are nights. 
I said, well, that sucks. But, like, I still want to try to work here. Because, like, I think it would still be cool. I say, all right, I'm interested in being the, a line chef. She said, that's awesome. We were actually looking for um, uh, line chefs. We had a couple of people um, move on to other avenues, basically saying either they got fired or they quit. Um, my opinion is they probably quit or they moved on to better positions. I, I, I'm leaning more towards the fact that they quit. And we're, we're looking for people to replace them. I said, that's awesome. I'm interested in that. He said, great. How many, how many years of line chef experience do you have? Um, I don't have any. And I'll never forget her face. Let me move the camera real quick. Or I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to do it right now. I'll never forget her face. She was all happy. She was all excited. The moment I said that I didn't have any line chef experience. Where's my pen? I have a pen here somewhere. Fuck. Um, let's just say uh, I have tweezers right here. Here's tweezers. Here's, here's, her, here's her paper, right? Um, she was like making notes on it. She was going like this, basically making notes. So, um, how much line chef experience do you have? I said, well, I don't really have any. She went like... And did that side glance. Stopped writing. She said, well, there's an issue with that. I said, what's the issue? Is it because I don't have any experience? She said, yeah, kinda. Yeah, we, we really want somebody who has at least two years of experience as a line chef. So, and then I'm thinking of this, all this is processing in my head as she's looking at me like this and looking like shocked that I don't have two years of line experience. We're talking about a place, let me remind you, on their website said that they're hard, urgently hiring all positions had me fill out an application online, got back to me, set up an interview. Not a person, mind you, because if it was a person, they would have told me straight off the bat that they're only looking for one position. I get there and it's the best parking spot. I go inside, I see how exuberant their prices are for a place that doesn't even look fancy. I fill out the paper application again because they wanted a paper application for some fucking reason. Even though I just did the same thing online. Just to be told after spending 20 minutes filling out another application. That the only position they're looking for is line chef at night. And you can't do it unless you have two years of line experience. Waste of my fucking time. I'm never eating at that place. They lost a customer that day. I'm never going there. I had the interest for the longest time ever since I moved here to go there. I'm never eating there again. And I'm going to shit talk that place if anybody asks me about it. Was the music perfect? I didn't even hear. What's the music? Oh, uh, I think it changed. What was it? It's caught off guard in Skyrim. Well, I'm excited to hear about that in, in, the, in the playback, but stupid. Fucking stupid don't trust when businesses say online that they're urgently hiring it's fucking bullshit most of the time they're only doing it because the owner of the company is saying you need to have this up that that's what i believe fucking stupid so that's what happened to me yesterday I hope you guys find that hilarious because I find that tragically hilarious and also like kind of thankful that it happened that way. So now I know that I don't have to go eat there anymore.